Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Julia, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that's great. Okay, hello, Alba. Hello, Anna. Hello, Alba. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Brenda. Good evening. Delmi Arele. Good evening, Anna Guadalupe. Eliseo Sarabia. Christopher. Good evening, teacher. Jamile. Alejandro Zelaya. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Did you go to the beach? Excellent. Very nice. Nice. That's great. Descansaron bastante. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you spend time with your family? Pasaron tiempo con su familia? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Is it raining now in the place you live? Está lloviendo donde viven? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Aquí también está cayendo una buena tormenta, ¿verdad? Y si en algún momento nos desconectamos, ¿verdad? Porque pueda que se vaya la luz, que el internet nos falle. Eh, tengan un poquito de paciencia, ¿verdad? Si yo no me logro conectar, se va a conectar alguien, ¿verdad? De, de los amigos que administran, ¿verdad? de los administradores. Se va a conectar, ¿de acuerdo? En caso de que algo suceda. Ok. Ok, thank you so much. So, welcome to your English class. La clase anterior estuvimos viendo cuál tema, do you remember? This, it is. Ok, we were studying this and also this. Also, we studying numbers from 0 to 9. Del 0 al 9, ¿verdad? Estuvimos viendo números y la pregunta, eh, what's your phone number? Yes. Ok, solo me avisan si me pueden escuchar, por favor. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Ok. Ok, so let's start with tonight's class. El día de hoy, antes de comenzar la clase, vamos a ver algunos tips para mejorar nuestra comprensión en inglés. Alguien me escribió por ahí y me dijo, teacher mía, yo creo que um, leo bien, entiendo bien, si estoy leyendo, conozco bastante vocabulario, pero cuando alguien está hablando en inglés, me cuesta. Me cuesta entenderlo, qué es lo que está diciendo. ¿Qué es lo que están diciendo las personas? Entonces vamos a ver algunos tips para mejorar nuestra comprensión. ¿verdad? Cuando alguien está hablando en inglés, y para que podamos practicar nuestro oído, ¿verdad? Para que podamos educar nuestro oído y podamos entender mejor. So let's start with this. Welcome to your class number five. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you tell me if you can see it? Me confirma si pueden dar mi pantalla, por favor. Yes. Yes. Sí, se ve, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the topic for tonight. Where are you from? Where are you from is the topic for tonight. ¿Alguien conoce el significado de esta pregunta? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Muy bien. Este es el nombre de la sección número 3, la sección que estamos comenzando el día de hoy. Pero antes de eso, veamos el objetivo de esta clase. Tips to improve English understanding. Algunos consejos, ¿verdad? Para 
ir mejorando la comprensión. Cuando escuchamos a alguien hablar en inglés, eh, no es que lo vamos a hacer de la noche a la mañana. O sea, tenemos que practicar. Tenemos que practicar muchísimo. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer eso? Okay. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer eso? Tip number one. Número uno. Concentrate or focus. You have to focus. Friend. Tiene que estar concentrado, ¿verdad? Al principio es un poquito difícil. Por eso necesito estar enfocado. Tiene que estar concentrado en lo que está escuchando o en la persona con quien está hablando. Tiene que estar concentrado. Al principio cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? pero a través de la práctica usted va a ir entendiendo más. So, focus. Number two, be patient. Be patient. Tenga paciencia, ¿verdad? No tire la toalla la primera, ¿verdad? Eh, más de alguna vez, pero nosotros que no somos hablantes nativos, hemos tenido problemas en entender a algunas personas en inglés. Then be patient. Tenga paciencia, ¿verdad? A través de la práctica usted va a ir mejorando hasta que logre entender todo lo que ellos digan. So, be patient. That is important. Number three. Al principio no vamos a entender cada detalle de alguien que esté hablando en inglés. Lo que tenemos que hacer es understand the general ideas. Try to understand the general ideas. Tratar de entender ¿verdad? las ideas generales. No cada detalle de lo que está diciendo, sino que la idea principal de todo lo que esa persona ha hablado. Number four. Uh, amplíe su vocabulario cada día. No se duerma sin haber aprendido 10 palabras nuevas de inglés cada día. So, tiene que ir ampliando ese vocabulario. Every day you have to study, study new words. You have to study new words every day. Uh, watch movies and sit on um, TV. A veces ponemos las películas en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero cuando acaban de pasar 10 minutos, sentimos que no la entendimos y nos damos por vencidos. Pero pues agarra el control y la pone en español latín. Entonces tenemos que hacer el hábito. Tenemos que hacer el hábito de watch movies and series um, on television in English. Trate de hacerlo. Haga el hábito de ver películas y series en inglés. Y así usted va a ir escuchando. ¿verdad? Probablemente no va a entender todo. Pero eh, su oído sí, ¿verdad? esas palabras se le van a ir grabando. Y cuando usted ya entienda bien, eh, se le va a hacer más fácil. ¿verdad? Cuando encuentre esas palabras, se las escuche en otro lado. Ah, esto lo vi en la película tal. Esto lo escuché en la serie tal. Entonces, hagamos ese hábito. Listen music. Eh, escuche música en inglés. Intente cantar las canciones ¿verdad? en algunas plataformas, oh, perdón, aplicaciones o, o plataformas de música. También ponen la letra. Entonces usted ahí puede practicar, puede escuchar y puede ir leyendo la letra, intentar cantar esas canciones. Y se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. ¿verdad? Cuando la vuelva a escuchar, ya va a saber qué palabras están usando en la letra de esa canción. Uh, audiobooks. Estos se han puesto bien de moda, ¿verdad? Los audiolibros. Y existe una infinidad en internet, ¿verdad? Que ustedes pueden encontrar. Pueden encontrar muchísimos libros ahí. Que pueden ser útiles para practicar el listening. Así que descargue sus libros favoritos en inglés. Él los puede escuchar en cualquier parte. Cuando va en el bus, cuando va en el carro. So, practice. Escuchar la radio. So you can download some application. Puede descargar algunas aplicaciones para su teléfono. Donde puede escuchar la radio de otros países. Donde hablen inglés. And you can practice. Puede escuchar la radio. Para escuchar música, noticias. Music, news, etc. Number nine. Watch the TV news in English. 
miren los noticieros en inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí usted va a ver que hay eh, periodistas que usan diferentes velocidades ¿verdad? al hablar. Hablan, unos hablan más rápido, otros más lentos, y su oído se va a ir acostumbrando a eso. Y entonces, intente ver los noticieros en inglés. That is going to help you a lot. Eso le va a ayudar mucho. Y por último, el último tip para ustedes esta noche es tómelo como un verdadero trabajo, ¿verdad? Todo, todo requiere un trabajo y aprender este idioma lo es cambiando. Esto implica definir tareas, dedicar tiempo, compromiso y determinación. Tiene que apartar por ahí, ¿verdad? Sacrificar la hora de la novela para practicar o para escuchar, ¿verdad? para ver videos, para escuchar música en inglés. So you can follow these tips and you are going to see that you are going to improve your English understanding. Estoy seguro que si usted toma en cuenta algunos de estos tips, uh, va a mejorar ¿verdad? su comprensión en inglés. Usted va a aprender muchísimo. En el grupo de WhatsApp voy a compartirles el link de donde saqué esta información para que ustedes la puedan leer detenidamente. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Les parecen útiles estos tips? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. thank you, teacher. Bueno, les comparto el link para que ustedes puedan verlo más cada uno de ellos. So let's start with tonight's class. Um, look at this question. Are you from Seoul? That is the topic of this conversation. Are you from Seoul? Eres tú de Seoul? So let's listen to this conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. In this conversation, we can find some examples of yes, no question using the verb to be. And also we can find some examples of negative question. Look at the first one. Are you from California, Jessica? This is a yes, no question. And Jessica answered, well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Um, in the penultimate oration, también tenemos un ejemplo de yes, no question. Is your first language Korean? Es tu primer lenguaje coreano? And Jessica says, yes, it is. So, examples. Are you from California? Jessica is one example. Yeah, the negative sentences. No, we're not consoled. Y el otro ejemplo de yes, no question is, is your first language Korean? El día de hoy vamos a ver este tema. Yes, no question with the verb to be and also negative sentences. Uh, let's listen again. Escuchemos una vez más esta conversación. And then we're going to practice. So pay attention. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, I need to continue to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? Who wants to participate tonight? Two volunteers. Alison Ankel is the first one. Anyone? Anyone? Any other? I have three now. So let's start with Alison and Jonathan. So Alison, you are Jessica, Jonathan, you are Kim. Can you please okay. start? 
are you from california Jessica? well my family is in california now but we're from korea originally oh my mother is korean from seoul are you from seoul no we're not from seoul we're from dijon so is your first language korean yes it is okay that was great thank you so much so korean is the word korean oh my mother is korean from seoul seoul Soul is the right pronunciation. Soul. Soul. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Delmi Areli. Any other volunteer to practice in this small conversation? Who wants to try? Delmi Areli and any other volunteer tonight? Thank you, Delmi Alexandra. Delmi Areli and Delmi Alexandra. Delmi Areli, you are team. Delmi Alexandra, you are Jessica, so you can start. Okay, teacher. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is California, New Wood. We're from Korea originally. Oh. My mother is Korean. From Seoul, are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daehyeon. Second. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it's read. Okay, thank you so much. Great job. Thank you very much. So, do you have a question? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Alba, Christopher, pregunta o quieren participar? Do you want to participate or do you have a question? Uh, not participation. Ah, okay, Alba and Christopher. So, Christopher, you are team. Alba, you are Jessica at this time. You can start practicing now. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California. No, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you, Alba. Thank you, Christopher. Very good try. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help in this conversation. Do you have any questions about vocabulary here? Any new word? Any. Any. Let's see what is any. Uh, any question? No, any question. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go then. Where's the next thing? Oh no. Are you from California, Where Jessica? Are my car okay, so here we have negative statements and yes, no question. Let's focus on this first. Enfoquémonos primero en las oraciones negativas. So, look at the first one. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not Italy. They're not in Mexico. So, to make a negative statement, we need to use this subject, the right form of the verb to be, and we need to add not and the complement. And then we have a negative sentence. Look at the first one. I is the subject. Am is the correct form of the verb be. 
not and from New York is the complement. What is the subject in the sentence? We're not from Japan. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esa oración? We're not from Japan. We. Oui. Excellent. We oui is the right answer. We. Oui. La forma correcta del verbo to be en esa oración es. We are. Okay, we are. Es are. ¿verdad? Luego agregamos not. Y el complemento sería from Japan. We're not from Japan. Uh, do you have any question about this? No question? Then let's go with yes, no question. Eh, se llaman yes, no question o preguntas cerradas. Porque usted solo tiene dos opciones para responder. Sí o no. Yes or no. So, are you from California? Then you say, yes, I am. The other option is, no, I'm not. Am I early? Am I early? Llegué temprano, estoy temprano. Then you say, yes, you are. No, you're not. Is she from Brazil? Is she from Brazil? Then you say, yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Is he from Chile? You say, yes, he is. No, he's not. Is it Korean? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Are you from China? Are you from China? Say, yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are we late? You say, yes, you are. No, you're not. Are they in Canada? Yes, they are. No, they are not. So to make a yes, no question, we need the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence. Necesitamos el verbo to be al inicio de la oración. The subject, el sujeto, and the complement. Are you? Am I? Is she? Is he? Is it? Are you? Are we? Are they? Any question? Let's continue then if you don't have any question with this. Well, before to go, tell me, what is your question? ¿Qué significa late? Late. Uh, that is an, are we late? Tarde. Significa tarde. Are we late? Es como, llegamos tarde. Estamos tarde. Okay. Any other question? Uh, tell me, Alexandra, what is your question? Tell me. Teacher, fíjese que yo no mucho le entendí en las, en las, I not from New York, de esa fila, de las negativas. I not es. from New York. Ajá. Sería, yo no soy de Nueva York. Yo no soy de, I not from New York. Yo no soy de Nueva York. Y las que llevan you, 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 y va acompañado del yure, no sé cómo se pronuncia a ti. Yure, yure. Yure. Es la, the second one, la segunda acá, yure. Uh -huh. Yure. Okay, this one. Yure, you're not late, yure. Any other question? Por... Tell me, what is your question? Este, ¿Por qué lleva eso agregado? El re, el she, la s, el he, la s también. It's. Ah, este, okay. Ahí no entendí. ¿Por qué lo lleva ahí? Very interesting question. Thank you. 
So, esta es la forma contractada del verbo to be con el pronombre personal. El primero, I, es I am. Pero contractado es I'm. Luego, she is. Oh, sorry. Tengo you, are. Esto contractado se convierte en your. Your. Luego tengo is. She's. Contractado. She is. Se convierte en she's. Y así sucede con he. He is. Se convierte en his. Ok, teacher. Thank you. No, o sea, es el mismo verbo to be, solo que va contractado junto con el pronombre personal. Thank you, teacher. Ok, no problem. Thank you for your question. ¿Y se puede decir you are in sin ningún problema? Yes, you can say. Puede utilizar esta forma y la otra sería la que menciona el compañero en el chat. You are not late. Y la otra forma sería... You aren't. You aren't late. Y es correcto también, no hay ningún problema. You aren't late. Puede decir, she is not from Russia, o puede decir, she isn't. She isn't from Russia. Ambas maneras son correctas. Any other question? Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, I need one volunteer who wants to try, who wants to participate. Any volunteer? Okay, thank you. I have Jose Martinez and Del Marelli and Christopher. Muy bien, Jose, can you please help me read in the first three sentences, las primeras tres oraciones? Then, tell me las siguientes tres. ¿Quién era el otro voluntario? Se me perdió. Oh, Christopher. Ok, Christopher, las siguientes tres. Les vamos a ir tres y tres. Let's start. Mm, dice, I'm not from New York. You're not late. She is not from Russia. It's not, not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. Good night. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. Hello, hello. Hello, Christopher. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. Okay, thank you. Um, any other volunteer? Tengo a Olga. And... Sí. Sí. Soy lista. Okay, Olga and Delma Alexandra. Four and four. Las primeras cuatro de Olga y Delma Alexandra las otras cuatro, please. Um, am I not from New York? You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. He eats not English. Atai? Yes, thank you so much. Very good job. Tell me. It's not English. We're not from. Japón, you are not early, they are not in Mexico. Okay, excellent, thank you. So take a look at these words. The right pronunciation of these contractions, I'm, I'm, I'm not from New York. I'm, I'm not from New York. This one is Russia. She's not from Russia. 
Italy. It is not from Italy. And Japan. We are not from Japan. Japan. Thank you so much. Now let's go with the you. question. Thank you for your participation. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. So don't forget about this question. We are going to study this later. So here is the structure that we need to follow to make a negative sentence. So we need a subject, the verb be, not, and complement. And take a look of this. Vamos a borrar esas anotaciones que hicimos. Ah, ahí está. Any volunteer to read this? Who wants to read these two examples? Thank you, Olga. Sí, sí. Uh, do you want to read these examples? Am um, I not from New York? You are not later. Um, quiero hacer una pregunta, una... Ah, okay, uh, tell me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia later? Late. late. Um, oh, late. 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 Um, thank you. Uh, decía que, 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 que leyera toda la oración. No. Yes, las dos oraciones. Um, Very good, Olga. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not from New York. You are not late. Then, si quiero hacer la siguiente oración, ¿Cómo me quedaría? Va, en el chat. A ver quién escribe primero. I'm not happy. <laughs> ok, Christopher, thank you. I'm not happy. Ok, Jonathan, I'm not happy. Eliseo Sarabia, I am not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Ah, okay, that was excellent. Todas están correctas. That's perfect. Now let's try with the next sentence. Are you ready? Están listos? Yes. Yes. Okay. She's not tired. Okay, great. She's not tired. She's not tired. She's not tired. Okay. She's not tired. She's not tired. She isn't tired. Okay, very good. All of your sentences are correct. That's great. Let's try with this another one. Also, they are, they are, they are, they are not French. Okay, ellos no son amigos. Then you say they are not friends. They are not friends. They are not friends. Yes, Maricela, Delmi, Carmen. Oh, sería with they are. They are not friends. They are not friends. Okay, Hilma, that's right. Then Mary Lee, they are not friends. Solo le pasó el apóstrofe por la pizza que llevaba, but it's okay. They are not friends. Okay, excellent. And let's 
la última. ¿Cómo sería esa oración? Can you translate this? We are hungry. Okay, we are not angry or we are hungry. Not angry. We are not, we are not angry. angry. Ang hungry and hungry and Yes, it's angry. We are not angry. We are not angry. Okay, that's great. Very good. Jonathan, yes, we are in all. No, Jonathan, we are in angry or we are not angry. Utilizó el no dos veces, una contractada y un no. We are in angry, yes, we are not angry. We are in angry. Okay, Jonathan, now it's okay. We are not angry, yes. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. So, the same thing Una question. Y de la dos manera que está escrito en el chat, se puede pronunciar así. Perdón, se puede escribir así. Yes. Vale. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál, por ejemplo? ¿Cuál oración, por ejemplo? Ah, la de nosotros no estamos enojados. Ah, sería la primera oración, sería we're, contractado el pronombre con el verbo to be, not angry, we are not mm -hmm. angry, sería una forma, we're not angry. Mm -hmm. La siguiente forma sería we aren't angry. Oh, ok, teacher, thank you. Y ambas son correctas. We are not angry or we aren't angry. Thank you, teacher. I'm not angry. Alba Rebeca no está enojada hoy. We are not angry. Ok, that's great. Very good teacher, sentences. I have a question. Tell me, Christopher Raúl, what's your question? ¿Cuál sería como la más adecuada o la, o la más utilizada? Contractar el, el, el sujeto o en este caso contratar el verbo. Okay, in my experience, I have heard this. This is most useful. We are in, we are in angry. Okay, teacher. The second, the contraction is not in the verb to be. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for your question. Let's go with the question. Let, no, don't forget about this structure then. No se les olvide esta estructura entonces. Subject, verb, be, no, and complement. And for the questions, you need to follow the next. Esta es la estructura que tenemos que seguir para hacer una pregunta en inglés. Interrogate statements, verb be, subject, complement, and complement. Are you from California? Am I early? Now it's correct. Verb be plus subject plus complement. Are you from California? Am I early? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta si yo le pregunto, are you from California? Podría ser. Not California. Ok, thank you for your answer. But, tell me, tell me. ¿Qué significa early? Eh, temprano. Es como, llegué temprano, am I early? Ah, oh, ok, teacher, gracias. Then, are you from California? You have two options to answer. Do you remember that? No, I am not in California. Ok, that is one option to say, no, I'm 
No. No, no I not. Y la otra opción sería yes. I am. Yes, I am. No, I not. Yes, I am. I Entonces, am. For the second one, am I early? Usted le pregunta a otra persona, ¿llegué temprano? Y la otra persona probablemente le va a responder, yes, you are. Sí, llegaste temprano o no, you aren't. No, you aren't. Ya, clase, ya casi termina la clase. No, you aren't. Yes, you are or no, you aren't. Yes, del Nereli, I'm not. Eh, no, I'm not. Sería una buena respuesta. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Are you from San Salvador? Anyone here to answer this question? Are you from San Salvador? Yes, I am. Okay, Brenda say, yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, Alejandro say, no, I am not. Let's see another city in El Salvador. Are you from Usulután? No, I am not. Then me, Alexandra say, no, I am not. Olga? No, I am not. Yes, yeah. I am from El Salvador. No, I am no, not. Mm, yes, I am. Oh, o okay. solo, solo una. Solo una opción. Si usted va a responder no, afirmativamente. I'm no, I am not. No, I am not. I am El San Miguel. Ah, okay, that's great. No, I am not. I am from San Miguel. That's great. Very good answer. That's perfect. Please say, no, I'm not. I am from San Miguel. That's great. Are you from Cabañas? ¿De dónde? I, Are I, you I, from I, Cabañas? Yes, I am. No, I am. Ah, okay. Hilma say, yes, I am. I am from Cabañas. No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. not. No, I not. Okay. Are you no, from not. Santa Ana? Are you from Santa Ana? No, I not. No, I not. No, I not. No, no, I not. Qué lástima, no, porque I están not. de fiesta. Yes. <laughs> so you say, are you from Santa Ana? I say, no, I not. Are you from Sonsonate? Are you from Sonsonate? No, I not. Okay, you say no, I not. Are you from Cuscatlan? No, I not, teacher. Are you from Cuscatlan? No. Nobody. No, no, I know. Okay, La Libertad. Are you from La Libertad? No, I not. Okay. Yes, I am. No, I not. Are you from Guatemala? So, you can ask question. No, I No, I not. No. Okay, don't forget please about the structure, the verb be, subject, and complement. So right now we're going to solve some exercises. Just give me a second. Olga, do you have a question? Um, er, er, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia early? Um, I early, early, um, early, um, um, I early. La pronunciación cuesta. Early. Early. ¿Cómo la pronuncia? Ajá, teacher, ¿cómo pronuncia esa segunda cuestión? 
early. Am I? Am I early? Am I early? Am I early? Am I early? I am I is. Am I early? No. Am, am I early? I know. A mí me cuesta la pregunta. Uniendo el sonido de la M y I, sí, am I early? Am I early? Am I am early? Am I, sí, am I early? Something like that. Am I early? Am I Am I early? Okay, let's go. Let's go with the exercises. We are going to complete this conversation using the rhyme form of the verb to be, and then we're going to practice. The first one, Haroshi is am or are to complete that question. You and Maiko from Japan. Are. ¿Están are. todos de acuerdo que es are? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay, let's see if you're right. Yes, R is the right answer. Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Are. Yes, we. We are. We are. Yes, we are. Oh. Or are you from Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? Oh, are you from Tokyo? No. no, we are. We, we are. We are. In, oh, we are not. We are not. Okay. No, we aren't. Or no, we are not. We are. No, we are not. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Asking an answer. Thank you, Delmi. And let me see. Delmi and Jonathan. So tell me you are A, Jonathan, you are B. Y en las dos, profe, solo en la number one. En ambos, en ambos, please. Hirochi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Uh, uh, The next. Or oh, are you from Tokyo? No, we are not. Okay, thank you. Excellent. And Olga and any other volunteer? Olga and number thank one. Thank you, Anna. Uh, ambas, Olga, please. Olga okay. and Anna. So, Olga, you are A, and Anna is B. You can start. Um, Hiroshi, are you, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, we're not. Okay, thank you, Anna. Thank you all that. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Let's go to the next exercise. Yeah. Help me to complete this. Um, is OR to complete the first question? Is. Is. Yes. Yes. Is Laura from the US? No. No, she's not. No, it's not. She's from the UK. Okay. No, she's not. She's from the UK. Yes. Is, Ahora que sé is que she es... from London? She's from London. Is she from London? Is, is she from London? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. Is from London? Yes, she Which is. Are from Italy. But her parents are from yeah. Italy. Our from they are, are not from UK originally. 
and okay. is they are not Chris. from the UK okay. originally. Okay. And and the next is, is, is Laura Pierce's language Italian. Okay, great. It's Laura's first language, Italian. Italian. No, it's no, not. No. 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 It's not. Okay, no, it's not. It's not. It's English. It's English. It's English. Okay, that's great. So it's Laura from the U.S. No, she's not. She's from the UK. Is she from London? Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. They are not from UK originally. Is Laura's first language Italian? No, it's not. It's English. To volunteer to practice in this conversation. Thank you, Delmi. I have Delmi, Areli, and Jonathan again. Okay, so Jonathan, you are A, tell me you are B. Is Laura from the US? No, she's not. She's from the UK. Is she from London? Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. They're not from UK originally? Is Laura first language Italian? It's Laura's first language Italy. No, no, it's not. It's it's English. Ah, okay, hubo una confusión ahí en las últimas líneas, ¿verdad? Sí, it's okay, man. Ya casi son las nueve. Es el sueño. Don't worry. Ya, ya tienen sueño. Thank you, Delmi. Thank you, Jonathan. Excellent job. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you so much. I need another two volunteers to practice in this conversation. I have Delmi, Alexandra, and Ana Guadalupe. Okay, Delmi, Alexandra, and Ana Guadalupe. Tell me, can you please start? And Anna is B. Okay, teacher. Is Laura from the US? No, she's not. She's from the UK. Is she from London? No. London. No, she is. Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. They are not from UK originally. Uh, no, I don't believe they are not, they are not from UK originally. I pardon you, dear. No problem. I see, see, I do speak. Bueno, ahora la, la última. Is is Laura Pris first language Italy? Italy? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's English. Thank you so much, Anna and Alexandra. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? En ese caso es X porque nos estamos refiriendo al lenguaje y no a Laura. Porque es idioma, es un idioma. En esta pregunta se refiere al lenguaje, al, al, al idioma, idioma, ¿verdad? Sí, al idioma. Is, okay. is Laura's first language okay. Italian? Al idioma nos estamos refiriendo. En el anterior sí, no, no, nos referíamos a, a ella, ¿verdad? ¿De dónde is era? she from London? Is she from London? Aquí sí sería a ella. Y en, en, el, en el de arriba sí, porque decimos que no, que no es verdad. Eh, de UK. Solo, es, solo esa duda, no sé por qué. Pero... Ok, Christopher, no te preocupes. Gracias so much por tu pregunta. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, más preguntas, entonces vamos con la No, más preguntas, teacher. 
Let's go with the last exercise for tonight. Oh no, it is not the last one. R. I have another one for you. Is R O M? R. R. Yes, you are right. Arcelina and Carlos from Mexico. No. They are. They are not. They are not. They are not. They are not. They are from. They are. They are from. They are from Brazil. Yes. Are are you are from, you from Brazil too? Are are you? Okay, excellent. Are you from Brazil too? Eres tú de no, Brasil I también? Am. Um, no, I am. No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. Uh, yes, yes. Are you please? Yes, sir. Is your first language? So yes, is it is. Your first language, Spanish? Yes, yes. It, it's. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Arcelina and Carlos from Mexico? No, they are not. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. So it's your first language, Spanish? Yes, it is. So we're going to to practice in this small conversation. Delmia Arely and I have Delmi and Julia. Thank you so much. So tell me you are A, Julia, you are B. Do it, please. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they are not. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. So is your first language in Spanish? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Julia and Delmi. Great job. The last two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. The last two volunteers. Okay, Brenda, Isabel, and Delmi, Alexandra. Thank you. Brenda and Alexandra. Alexandra, can you please start? And Brenda is B. Okay, teacher. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they are not. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I am not. I am from Peru. So, so, so is your first lengua Spanish? Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Alexandra. Is your first language Spanish? Is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Thank you. Let's go with the last okay. exercise for today. In the last exercise of this day, we are going to answer this question. Number one, are you 15? Are you 15? Tiene usted 15? Cuenten las velas a ver si es cierto o es falso. Es no, I know. No, I am. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14. So the answer is? 14. I 14. 14. Okay. So the answer is, are you 15? Sería, no, I'm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Is she a police woman? No, I'm not. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, no she is not. Then. Am I a student? Yes. Yes. She. Yes, she. Oh, say hello. Am I a student? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, she. No. Or yes, she. No. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, answer yes. number one, Serian. No. 
I'm not. That's the first one. The second one, is she a police woman? You say no. She is not. No, she isn't. No, no, she's not. Yeah, am I a student? So yes, yo, un estudiante, I am. You are. Si yo le pregunto, say, am I a student? Sí, so yo, un estudiante. Ah, okay. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Si yes, tú eres. Si tú eres. Es como si esta niña nos hubiese preguntado, ¿soy yo un estudiante? Y nosotros, sí, tú eres. No, tú no eres. ¿Verdad? So, yes, you are. O no, you aren't. Y si... O sea, que mother? siempre... Teacher, I have a question. O sea, que siempre responderíamos como en... que una tercera persona nos estaría preguntando. Uh, Es como que si yo le estuviera pidiendo confirmación a usted. ¿Soy yo un teacher? Uh, ¿Am I a teacher? So yes, you are. are a teacher. And then you say, yes, you are. Or, no, you aren't. Ah, uh, me, me va a dar el truco. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. ¿Es it a rabbit? Yes, it is. Yes, okay. it is. Thank you. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Uh, what is the next one? Is this one? Are they from France? Look at the picture. No, uh, they are. They are. <laughs> no, they are. Oh, look at the picture. Is it in France or not? Yes, they are. They are. Ah, okay. Yes, they are. Thank you. Yeah. Say yes, they are. Mm -hmm. The next one, are your parents old? Mm -hmm. Are you? Yes. Parents? Yes, um, I am. Yeah. Are your parents old? Son tus padres mayores, viejos, ancianos. Are your parents old? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, you say yes, they are. O usted puede decir no, they are. No, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, look at the picture. Is it cold? No. No. No, no, no. it's not. No. You say no, it's not. it's not. No, it's not. Is Susan a doctor? Yes. Is yes. Susan a doctor? No, she's not. Yes. No, she's no. not. Okay, no, she's not. No, she's not. Okay. Are they from France? Yes, they are. Are your parents old? Yes, they are. Is it old? No, it's not. Is Susan a doctor? No, she's not. Excellent job. Thank you. And this is the last one. Are you Spanish? Yes. Are you Spanish? Um, yes. Look at the picture. Um, Are no you sabe. Spanish? <laughs> ¿Cómo saberlo? <laughs> eh, eh, ¿Es está usted, por el perrito? ¿Es eh. usted española? Eh. No. ¿O son ustedes españoles? And look at the picture. ¿Qué cree que responderían ellos? ¿Son ustedes de España no. o españoles? No, we are. Ah, okay, muy bien. Say no, we, we are in. aren't. No, we aren't. Am I intelligent? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, yes you are. Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Is it my car? Is it my car? Is this my car? Is it my car? Yes, yes I am. No. Yes. yes, it is. 
Yes, ah, you thank you, Brenda. You say yes. Yes, you yes. 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 yes, it is. Is it a monkey? Yes. So it yes. is. Then you say no, it is a. No. It's not. It's... No, it isn't or no, it's not. Okay, do you have any question about tonight's class? This is the moment. Do you have a question? No questions. Okay, thank you so much. Eh, recordarles nada más que para esta semana necesitamos terminar la sección número tres y también el mid terms. Tenemos que terminar el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Para el final de esta semana. Eh, podemos empezar a trabajarlo ya, ¿verdad? Para que no se nos acumule ahí el día jueves el trabajo. Eh, ¿Alguien tuvo problemas en la sección 1 y sección 2? ¿Todos, todos no. la terminaron sin ningún problema? Sí, yes. Yes, bye. Si alguien yes. por A o B motivo aún no ha terminado ambas secciones, eh, si necesita ayuda, con gusto, ¿verdad? Escriba en el grupo, por favor, de WhatsApp para poder ayudarle. ¿De acuerdo? Thank you. Sí. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ok. I have a message. No, profe. Yo no tuve. Ah, no tuvo problemas. Ok, del Nerely. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank good you, night. teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye bye.